Hi, this is Ben with Novalux Stereophonic, and today on the bench I have a little project for improving the bench a little bit. So I've got these Tektronics distortion analyzers, and I just got this um, little two-channel scope, and I want to put them all inside of the same power frame so that I can save a little bit of bench space. So I ordered a used TM5006 frame, and it looks like this came from the electrical engineering department of, of a university. It was surplus. It's very, very clean. Um, but the fan is a little bit too loud. I'm doing audio work here at the bench, so I want to minimize the amount of noise that's happening when I'm running the test equipment. So I'm just going to fire this up. So we can hear that significant, significant noise from that um, existing fan. This is a a quiet fan, but it runs on 120 volts AC. So I think we can improve that with some modern day stuff. So what I did is I found an ultra noise, ultra low noise, 12 volt fan, um, and then a little power supply. It's a, basically an LED driver, but just something nice and compact. So I'm gonna uh, test these out on the bench and see if there's an improvement in fan noise. And if so, I'll, I'll load those two pieces into the chassis here and test it out. I just mocked up the fan and power supply on the bench quick just so that I could make sure that this ran quieter than the existing fan. And then I wanted to try out these little adapter modules that came with the uh, kit. I think these are just a resistor in series to slow down the fan a little bit. They call them the low noise adapter and ultra low, low noise adapter. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire this up. So overall very quiet and this should be an improvement over that 120 volt AC fan. All right, I've now got the, the back panel off the unit to uh, a few torque screws here and then one on, on this uh, little standoff area here. Now, if you're following along, you're doing so at your own risk. There's um, high voltages inside of this unit um, and the capacitors can hold quite a charge. So again, if you're following along, you're doing so at your own risk. Now, this is the original fan here. I've clipped the connector off of it uh, because I'm going to splice it into my other one, but this one was designed to sit right up against the heat sink for these pass transistors and then line up with the back of the, the unit here. The new fan is considerably thinner than the old one, so I have to make a choice if I'm going to butt it up against the, the back panel or if I'm going to put it right on the heat sink and secure it to the heat sink. So I'm not a professional at this type of uh, airflow, but I think the easiest thing to do is just to gap it a little bit and, and leave it on the back panel. If I notice this getting really hot, I may have to, to build some sort of tunnel or something for this. But even if we look at this one, there are you know gaps on the side and such. So I think I'm gonna be fine just securing the new fan to the back panel. I'm gonna run the power for it off to this side and I'm gonna plan to mount the, the little power supply right in this area. because I'm not gonna use any of these back panel options. Got the fan installed here. Got a couple uh, spacers using the original screws here. I did need to change to a smaller 632 nut on the bottom to get the bottom ones to stick. Uh, and then in this area here where the supply comes from, the AC supply, I just cut the original fan wire and spliced into it here, connecting to the power supply. This I'm gonna end up doing some double-sided tape on the back and just mounting it directly on the aluminum here. Go ahead and fire this up. So I think much improved. And then I did test it with the, uh, the little attenuators and this makes it even quieter. So I think I'm gonna start with this at the highest CFM and um, you know, once it's installed in this spot, it might be even harder to hear once it's back there. So I think much improved. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll uh, take a final look inside and throw it back up on the bench. All right, the installation is complete. I've got the little power supply module double side taped here. And I'm running the, the 12 volt wire just underneath that board there. And then did a couple zip ties on my standoffs here just to make everything clean from there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. We'll see how it turns out once all the covers are back on and it's loaded into place. Okay, I've got the TM5006 back up in its place on the bench, and you can see it's a lot more compact up here now. And I actually have room if I wanted to, I could do probably a whole nother TM5006 next to it. Let's fire it up.
So overall, the fan is barely audible. It's actually quieter than probably this scope and this signal gen. So pretty happy with how that turned out. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. If you like this content, please subscribe. I do a lot of restoration on vintage audio equipment if that's something that you're interested in. Check out my channel. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.